Tyler. How are you? Hey, Tatiana. I'm doing well. How you doing? I'm doing great. I binged all of Harlem uh, hey. last week, and I very much enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you, I'm glad you uh, enjoyed it and you got something from it. Yeah, definitely. What what did you get from it? What aspect of the script was it that made you want to jump on board and play Ian? I think what made me really want to play in, there was lots of things that I really enjoyed mm -hmm. about the character, but the number one thing that drew me to him was just, <clears throat> just, um, just how balanced he was. You know, we got to see a full juxtaposition of a real, like a real person, a real man. Mm -hmm. It's like on one side, he's got this strength. He's, you know, he's fiery, he's passionate. He has this sense of like virility, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's, he's a man. Um, but on the flip side, he's, you know, he's vulnerable. He's, he's open. He's, you know, there's a tenderness there. You know, he's an artist at the end of the day. Um, so to see, so to see, so to see this contract, uh, you know, in this spectrum of who he is, again, just it's probably just that juxtaposition that that drew me to the character. You know, I see lots of characters, and it's kind of just like you know one note or one hue, mm -hmm. and it's like you know sometimes you you play a role just to play it. You know, it's always good to get your chops, to get experience. But at this point in my career, you know, I want to go after things that you know that move me, that speak to me in a certain way. So that was probably the number one thing. I love that. Now, speaking of, you know, multifaceted <laughs> parts yeah. of a person, uh, the dynamic between Ian and Camille is so interesting. Obviously, yeah. it trips her up when she sees him again, but he yeah. isn't unaffected either. What is mm -hmm. it that draws them to each other? What makes them kind of like magnets in this way? Yeah, I think I think what draws them together is, um, you know, the foundation of what their relationship was built on. You know, <clears throat> she is this type A personality and he can he can go with the flow when she needs, you know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, within that, they have this, uh, you know, they have this thing where they can see each other's BS and kind of call mm -hmm. each other out. They have this fun, loving, uh, you know, seductive banter back and forth that they really enjoy. It kind of serves as like, you know, like foreplay for them. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? And it's like, um, you know, that's that's just that, I think these things are what goes into them being soulmates. They just, mm -hmm. they just get each other. They just love being around each other. Um, unfortunately, there was some obstacles that get in the way because he's got to go find himself and vice versa, you know, vice versa with her. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I feel like that conflict just it plays for a great, uh, you know, just a great relationship to watch to see how they go through it and how they find themselves and then how they act when they get back around each other. And I feel like that's why they're so drawn to each other. Yeah, I love that. Now, of course, as fascinating as that dynamic is, the friendship between the ladies is kind of the heart of the show. I'm wondering, for what sure. is it like for you on set to be around all of that wonderful feminine energy? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I uh, I tell them often, they're like, I'm an only child. So they're like the mm -hmm. sisters that I've always needed, mm -hmm. that I've always wanted, for sure. Because mm -hmm. um, they just... Man, they're just like, I know there's, it's like the saying is like, they're two peas in the pod, mm -hmm. but they're just like four peas in the pod. Like <laughs> <to> <laughs> for real. So to be able to watch them play off each other is just, it's it's a joy to be around. It kind of keeps me grounded. And, and um, you know, my artistry, when I get on set, it's like they can take me out of whatever, you know, nonsense that I'm that I'm going through, that I'm trying to check out the door. And, uh, you know, as, as great as we work together on set, as well as we gel on set, um, you know, the energy is, is like that even more offset. I love being around those ladies. And it's just been a it's just been a privilege to work with them as as an artist, but also to get to know them as a friend. Mm, that's wonderful. Now, you mentioned some of the obstacles that are in the path of Camille and Ian. And I'm just wondering, what do you think Ian wants for himself that keeps him away from Camille at the start of the se season? I think that he understands what it's like to not... Um, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being real. Like he, he mm. understands what it's like to a not, not find his passion. He hasn't gotten there yet. Mm -hmm. And then B as a man, he knows what it's like to not have money. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's like, unfortunately it, dri it drives you as a man, like to be a provider. And mm -hmm. if you're not providing that, you know, a, what do you get looked at like, and B, how do you feel? You know? So I feel like these are some of the things, even though he really wants to be with her right now, mm -hmm. If if that's how it is, then so be it. Cause I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta wrangle this down as a man in order to feel comfortable with who I am. I love it. There's cause it's very funny, obviously, but there's so many deep layers to it. Uh, so thank yeah. you for those answers. And for I sure. can't wait for everyone to watch and hopefully enjoy as much as I did. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm glad you got something from it. I appreciate you. Definitely. Have a great day.